All right, getting close to 518 right now on a Friday afternoon. Almost Friday. the weekend. Ready yes. for the we hey, we're going to be at the game tomorrow. Yes. I think we're all going to be there, right? Looking forward to that. Yeah. Noon kickoff, and we're looking good weather-wise. It's not going to be as bright, but it uh, looks like rain should be arriving after the game wraps up. Well, that's good time. So, yes, for sure. So, And that's the one little hiccup that we have uh, over the next, say, seven days. So a nice stretch wrapping up tomorrow, then another one begins. Right now, if you're heading out and about, we have temperatures uh, in the mid-70s, really all across Connecticut, fairly uniform, no major uh, differences from one corner of the state to the other. And that's thanks to increasing sunshine this afternoon and also our wind direction. 78 right now looking live from New Haven. Uh, a nice scene also coming in from New London, 77 uh, with a calm wind there. Uh, and from uh, top part for 21, looking toward the east in our capital city, you can see the shadows being cast by the clouds overhead, but plenty of blue sky looking eastward. 77 right now in Hartford. If you're heading into our capital city for the Yard Goats home game tonight. Uh, temperatures initially around 74 for first pitch, dropping about five degrees by the time we get to the end of the game. And while we've seen cloud cover this morning in association with this area of low pressure offshore, as it moves away, we've seen the increasing sunshine, late day sunshine here across Connecticut. Uh, so the clearing is going to be short lived because we're looking westward. We have a front that's on the approach and that's going to bring that chance for rain tomorrow. Behind this front, again, another area of high pressure is going to build in and dominate Sunday through really all of next week. So that translates, of course, to another stretch of dry and bright weather. Uh, so for tonight, with our sky becoming mostly cloudy, uh, temperatures bottom out in the 50s. Coolest in the northeastern hills, a little bit warmer as you head southwest across the state. Uh, and a check of the game forecast for tomorrow. You, again, Yukon, Rensselaer Field, East Hartford. Dry through the morning, but primarily cloudy. We could see some rays of sun. So you're going to be uh, perhaps doing some tailgating prior to the noon kickoff temperatures warming through the low to mid 60s game time and beyond we are in the lower 70s and a check of first alert future cast showing noon tomorrow again primarily dry outside of maybe an isolated shower but you see off to our west the main event coming into western connecticut three four o'clock five o'clock moving toward the route eight quarter clearing 91 seven eight o'clock tomorrow evening by nine ten o'clock tomorrow uh the rain is moving into rhode island and weakening so uh we could see around a quarter to a half inch of rain. Rain is actually something we could use. It's been over 10 days since we've had any sort of meaningful widespread rain. It's just poorly timed as we've got that first alert for impact to outdoor plans later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Uh, so high temperatures tomorrow up in the 70 to 75 degree range. And then behind the front, Sunday morning we'll wake up to sunshine. High pressure continues to build in, perhaps a couple clouds through the afternoon, but certainly dry and bright. The big story by Sunday, the downturn in temperature highs only in the 60s to near 70 inland, upper 60s, low 70s along the shoreline. So temps a good 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Uh, we'll in fact start Sunday with temperatures in the 45 to 50 degree range. Our coolest day is Sunday, our coolest night, Sunday night, and thereafter trending warmer. And there's that stretch of dry and bright weather. 77 on Monday, closer to 80 Tuesday. And you can see that gradual progression day by day going up a couple degrees. So back to late summer-like levels as we had Wednesday Thursday and Friday of next week.